The increased use of cell phones reduced U.S. homicide rates in the 1990s, according to new research distributed by the National Bureau of Economic Research. The popularity of cell phones undermine the turf-based business model for illegal drug dealing, a co-author of the study suggests that, in turn, may have undercut street gangs' drug profits. The researchers found the link between mainstreamed cell phone service and the reduction in 1990s homicide rates after analyzing data from 1970 to 2009. Homicides declined by about 10,000. Between 1990 and 2000, they found. Video, can cell phones help save this rainforest? National Geographic Cell phones may have been behind the decline in violent crime in the 1990s by reducing drug-related deaths, said co-author Lena Edland, an associate professor of economics at Columbia University. When users had cell phones, they didn't have to buy on the corner. Edlin told MarketWatch, the street market for drugs became less important. Edlund and co-author Cecilia Machado, an assistant professor at the Getulio Vargas Foundation in Rio de Janeiro, proposed that the cell phone effectively cut out on the middleman. Phones also allowed parties to handle payment and delivery separately, they said, potentially reducing the likelihood of an altercation. A move away from turf-based dealing may have reduced the ability to cartelize drug sales, dented profits, and dulled the allure of gang life, the authors added. Edland and Machado examined county-level mortality data from the Vital Statistics System and mortality data from the Federal Bureau of Investigation Supplementary Homicide Reports, SHR. Using the density of antenna structures, like towers, as a proxy for cell phone service expansion. Gallery, How Drastically Telephones Have Changed Over Time, Redbook. As for more recent year-over-year -year increases in violent crime, the U.S. murder rate increased in 2015 and 2016, for example, Edland and Machado pointed out that homicide rates had remained relatively low, suggesting a fundamental regime shift overall. This research suggests that no, they're not going back up again. Edlund said, the market for drugs has changed, and we're not going back to the street business model. More finance.